Frank, explain Frank in one word. He's a cool guy, he has a cool beat. Unique. Useless. Why? Because, because he's useless. <laughs> I have to do everything for him. Dedicated, I think that's the word I'm gonna use. Um, he's a very dedicated person in whatever he does. Um, he's very responsible and when he try to start something, he really likes to finish it to the end and um, in a perfect way that he can. So dedicated, yes. Oh, thank you. This is going back to over 27 years ago. In Iran, as you know, revolution happened and things gone really tough for especially for the people non-muslim so that's uh, that's why we couldn't uh, really live easily there we decided to leave the country of that so got married after when i was 24 and i moved we decided together to leave the country, just uh, start a new life in different countries. That's why we decided to come to Australia. <laughs> I saw that the bees from the chimney have swarmed in the backyard and it's a scary, scary um, thing to see. So I ran back and it was very exciting. It was, it was like, you know, yes, we got them. So I waited a few hours because at, in Iran at that time it was very early morning. So I think I um, woke him up um, and I said, guess what? And he said, what happened? And I said, you've got your bees. And he said, what do you mean? I said, well, they swarmed this morning and um, now they're all in the box. I saw them not in the box. When he came back, I think around maybe after three weeks, four weeks, um, we um, moved the box very gently down and he opened the lid. And we saw the cutest thing. They had made this um, honeycomb, white, pure white honeycomb. And um, they had made some um, honey, honey, yeah. honey as well and there and then I just fell in love with them I saw how beautiful they live and how organized they are and I just yeah so they became his children and my grandchildren <laughs> the time came uh, my mom can't became very, very sick, so what I did, I decided to take a risk and go and see her, so at least one more time I can see my mom, and she was 72 years old, when she became really sick and there wasn't any hope to live anymore, so that's why I rushed to get Iranian passport, and I applied for everything, and I go back to Iran to see my mom, but unfortunately when I got there she was really really sick. She couldn't re recognize me. That's why uh, I spent a month there so she was getting worse. I had to go back to Australia so that's, that was a bad bad time for me. <laughs> It's a very, very good hobby. Very sweet hobby. Sweet, and also <laughs> whatever honey comes out, we give it away. We're not. Yeah, we're not profiting from profiting. honey. Just uh, 
give it to friends and families and That's it. we enjoy yeah. doing that. Okay, what I'm going to do now, just uh, because winter time we never open the hive and now it's getting close to good weather so I can go and check it out, see how they're doing after two months or maybe over three months haven't been touching the hive because of the cold weather so you cannot open the hive. Now I have to wear all this. Here we go. Okay. Actually, they've done a fantastic job. It's full of honey. So, that was a happy time for me when I had the bees and then doing fantastic job and bringing all the honeys for me and it was a summer December mid-December we decided to do a bit of uh, renovation at the backyard I end up by finding the place to move the bees for at least for two weeks because they were doing the concrete it was a hot day and uh, I packed up all the bees in three bucks together and so I asked one of my friends to come and help me to move those to the farm and uh, my big mistake was not to didn't empty the honey before taking it so it was so many bees in the box and I sealed the box while I was moving because it wasn't good surface to move the bees with shaking those bees box that's why the, the honey start melting on on top of the bees and by the time I got to the place all the honey was melt and I, I lose all the bees on that time so that's what happened and then my life starts to become miserable. He thought that he actually killed them, which, I don't know, it, it wasn't on purpose, of course. We just were inexperienced, you know, inexperienced, and we didn't know um, what we had to do. And, um, and he was fine, and I said, look, we're going to get some more bees. We now know what to do, so it's going to be okay. The next year, actually, it happened. They swarmed again, and they were hanging on the tree, 
And um, I remember I called him and I said, run from work, come back, come back. Um, they have swarmed again and they are hanging like a bunch of, you know, grapes on the, on the tree. So, and he came back quickly. He got the box again and uh, with the help of friend and he chopped cut, them. yeah, chopped the branch and they all fell in the box. And we got them again and um, he got his happiness back. And this time I'm really careful. So I always it's it's going for uh, f nearly four four years now. Yes. So I've yes. got them, and uh, the purpose of that is not to get honey and sell it. I enjoy getting the honey from those bees and giving it away. You know, giving to all the friends and anyone. So it's not for profit or anything. I just enjoy getting it and giving to people and make them happy and they really enjoy it. I'll, ju I'll just uh, I'm normally a person I try to help everyone and get worried about if something goes wrong and I'll just try to help them and save them, that's it. <laughs>